I wanted to share the difference between the IFSP, which is the Individual Family Service Plan, and the IEP, the Individualized Education Plan, because most of the time educators talk about IEPs for students, but uh, before the age of three, most children will begin with an IFSP um, because this is intended for children and families ages birth to two. Now, a lot of times we don't hear about these family service plans because the disability that the child is diagnosed with comes later once they're school aged and interacting in the classroom, many teachers notice differences in children that may not be determined prior to this time. Uh, but the, inter the individual family service plan is very important for students who need early intervention services because of their unique developmental needs. A lot of the times these are diagnosed uh, by children missing milestones or a pediatrician noticing a developmental difference in the child. Uh, and this is the reason why the individual family service plan is important because it gets a child back on track uh, earlier than if they would wait until they entered school. The eligibility for a child to get an IFSP is based on an evaluation anytime from birth to age two. This plan is developed annually and reviewed uh, and it, it includes the family as well as any expert uh, that may be involved in the care of the child like a pediatrician, an occupational therapist, a speech therapist, a social worker, or an early childhood education teacher. Uh, based on the needs of the child during the evaluation, the development of the plan is written, and those people will service the child on a speci specified schedule, and then this plan will be renewed annually to determine if it's meeting the needs of the child and if it needs to be changed. Uh, because uh, development occurs so rapidly in the first two years of life, Sometimes it's reviewed every six months instead of annually, um, and the changes can be made at that time. Basically, the services are provided in the natural environment for the child. This means within the home or child care center. Uh, once in a while, children are taken to early intervention centers that are just nice facilities uh, that are uh, conducive to therapy from a lot of different um, types of, of services. The goal, again, is to help the child reach their developmental goals that they may be behind on and have them be ready when they enter school to perform uh, as well as they can. Now, for children that are entering school, typically starting with age five, I'm sorry, with the, typically starting age three, um, and it goes through uh, actually 12th grade, uh, the IEP is an individualized education plan to basically ensure that students have the same opportunity to learn as their peers who are non-disabled. This again will start with an evaluation of the child and usually they are referred by, the, by their teacher who notices some difference. To develop the IEP after the evaluation there is usually a team in place and this usually includes the parents of the child the teacher, and any specialist that may be working with the child. If the child receives services outside of the school setting, those uh, specialists or uh, physicians may also be involved in developing the IEP. This plan is usually renewed annually, which is a yearly basis, um, but if the frequency is determined that needs to be more often, that can occur as well. Uh, this plan will be, like I said, updated yearly, but it will follow the child through their developmental years in the school. So what is in the plan for kindergarten is not going to be the same that's in the plan for eighth grade, but they still will have individualized goals, and it is the teacher's legal right, legal obligation to meet those needs for the child. Um, basically, we want children to be able to learn alongside of their peers who are not disabled, and this IEP prepares them to be in a more natural setting to meet their learning goals. So when you hear IFSP or IEP, know that they're very similar, but the IFSP includes the family in the plan and is for children birth to two, 
whereas the IEP is less focused on the family and more of the school environment where the child will learn uh, in, with these individualized goals.